Hello, it's Simon here, aka The Quiz Wizard. It's Thursday night and that means it's time for the Lockdown Quiz version 2.0. Now, this week's quiz is going to be run as a pre-recorded quiz. So, I hope you uh, still enjoy it, taking part via YouTube. So, if you are, remember, on the YouTube channel, you can subscribe to the channel, join the Facebook group and also... Uh, follow me on Twitter by clicking on the three icons in the channel banner. There's lots going on on the Quiz Wizard channel. Uh, so if you are at a bit of a loose end during this second lockdown, feel free to go and try one of my Monday night quizzes, one of my mini quizzes, or one of the something for the weekend quizzes. During lockdown, I've also been uploading some additional mini quizzes for you to try. Again, lots of people from all around the world still taking part in the quizzes. So uh, good evening, Tin Man in the USA and uh, uh, the Princess, Princess Loopy, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy the quiz tonight. So how will the pub quiz work? There will be six rounds with eight questions in each round, all on different topics. We're playing just for fun. So um, take part against people in your family or friends. Um, but yeah, we're just playing for fun. So no prizes, but don't cheat, no cheating. So what are tonight's rounds? Let's have a look. Round one, traditional general knowledge. Round two, we haven't had one for a while. It's the sport round. Round three is our first of two picture rounds tonight. And it's quite simply name the movie. Round four is a history round. We've not had one of those for a very long time. Round five is back by popular demand. It's the connections round. And our final round this evening is our second picture round. Uh, name the famous pop group. So get yourselves a drink, get your pen and paper ready. I'm ready to take part in lockdown quiz 2.0. Remember, you have the added bonus that you can pause me if you want longer on each question. Remember at the end to comment how many you scored, like the video and subscribe to the Quiz Wizard channel. So round number one today is general knowledge. Eight questions uh, all about general trivia. So let's get started. With question one, what name represents C in the radio phonetic alphabet? So what name represents C in the radio phonetic alphabet? Question two, King Edward is a variety of which vegetable? King Edward is a variety of which vegetable? Question three. Which bird shares its name with a chess piece? Which bird shares its name with a chess piece? If you want a lockdown view, uh, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix is well worth a watch. Good show. Question four. In which country is the ancient city of Petra? So in which country is the ancient city of Petra? If you watch um, An Idiot Abroad by Carl Pilkington, you might know the answer to that one. Number five. Which German sports car manufacturer created the Carrera model? Which German sports car manufacturer created the Carrera model? 
I know nothing about cars. Number six. Oh, good quiz question, this one, in my opinion. Where is the sea of tranquility? So question six, where is the sea of tranquility? Question number seven, seven. Which 1990s interior design show was presented by Carol Smiley from 1996 to 2003? So which 1990s interior design show was presented by Carol Smiley from 1996 to 2003? Smiley, Smiley, Carol Smiley. Mum, Dad, if you're out there watching, you used to force me to watch this show when I was younger. And question number eight, science. What is another name for ascorbic acid? What is another name for ascorbic acid? If uh, this is your first quiz with me, I do recap each of the questions. So question one, what name represents C in the radio phonetic alphabet? Number two, King Edward is a variety of which vegetable? Number three, which bird shares its name with a chess piece? Number four, in which country is the ancient city of Petra? Number five, which German sports car manufacturer created the Carrera model? Number six, where is the sea of tranquility? Number seven, which 1990s interior design show was presented by Carol Smiley from 1996 to 2003? And number eight, what is another name for ascorbic acid? Okay, so our second round this evening, round number two, is all about sport. Just like to say that if you're getting a bit of background noise from uh, Woody the dog or my daughter Ren, I apologise for that, but it's the world that we're, the lockdown world that we're living in. So eight questions now, all to do with sport. Question one. In which sport do women compete for the Solheim Cup? So in which sport do women compete for the Solheim Cup? Question two, what color is the outermost ring in an archery target? So what color is the outermost ring in an archery target? picture it. It's the one you don't want to aim for. Question three. In which year did the Rumble in the Jungle boxing match take place? Was it 1964, 1974 or 1984? So in which year did the Rumble in the Jungle boxing match take place 64 74 or 84 question four the minnesota vikings and detroit lions are professional teams in which sport should be able to make it educated guess the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions are professional teams in which sport? Number five. What term is given 
to a score of three under par in golf? What term is given to a score of three under par in golf? I bet Tiger Woods would have loved a three under par after his, did he get 10, I think? He scored 10 on one hole, hit the, hit the water three times. Question six. How many times did Stephen Hendry win the World Snooker Championship? You've got some options again. Was it seven, eight, or nine times? How many times did Stephen Hendry win the World Snooker Championship? Seven, eight, or nine times. If you ever need a good nap, I think listening to the snooker in the background, to the sound of the cue ball hitting the ball into the pocket. It's good for a snooze. Number seven. What sport other than tennis is played at the All England Club in Wimbledon? We all know it for tennis, but what sport other than tennis is played at the All England Club in Wimbledon? That noise is uh, Ren doing tiger impressions, if you can hear it. And question number eight. Who were the first club in English football history to be awarded a goal by VAR? Video assistant referee. Who were the first club in English football history to be awarded a goal by VAR? <clears throat> I'll recap those for you. Number one, in which sport do women, not two women, in which sport do women compete for the Solheim Cup? Number two, what colour is the outermost ring in an archery target? Number three, in which year did the Rumble in the Jungle boxing match take place? 64, 74 or 84? Number four. Minnesota Vikings and Detroit Lions are professional teams in which sport? Number five, what term is given to a score of three under par in golf? Number six, how many times did Stephen Hendry win the World Snooker Championship, seven, eight or nine? Number seven, what sport other than tennis is played at the All England Club at Wimbledon? And number eight, who were the first club in English football history to be awarded a goal by VAR. Okay, so our third round this evening will be our first picture round, movies. You're going to see eight pictures from eight different films. You just need to tell me the name of the film. Remember, Paul, I know you normally entertain us with some uh, jokes on our live quiz. So if you do have any good jokes for tonight, make sure that you uh, post them as a comment and we can all tell you how fantastic the joke was. So here we go, your eight movies coming up. Number one, number two, number three, movie four, five, six, seven, and here's your last movie, number eight. So all you need to do is give me the name of each movie. I hope you're enjoying the quiz. I mean, obviously I'd much rather be delivering it to you live, but not feeling 100% at all. Remember you are taking part on the YouTube channel tonight. So if you haven't subscribed to the Quiz Wizard channel, make sure you do. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you're enjoying the quiz, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I like comments too, and I'll be able to reply to each of your comments. So at the end of the quiz, please do let me know how many you scored.
So there's a couple of uh, tricky ones in this round, I think. I had no idea on number two, but then it came back to me. Number five, I remember going to see that at the cinema. I think I went with my sister. A couple of classics in there as well. Remember, if you're taking part um, and you want to tweet me um, your score, you can do that as well. The Twitter handle at the underscore quiz underscore wizard. Okay, I'm just going to give you another 30 seconds or so, <clears throat> and uh, then I'll go through the answers to rounds one, two, and three. If you do want any longer, though, you've got the beauty of just pausing me today. Okay, so stop the share now. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to go through the answers now to um, rounds one, two, and three. So round one was general knowledge. What name represents C in the radio phonetic alphabet? That's Charlie. Number two, King Edward is a variety of potato. Number three, which bird shares its name with a chess piece? Big chess fan myself, used to play a lot when I was younger. Um, the answer is rook. Some people call it the castle, but its official name is the rook. Number four, in which country is the ancient city of Petra? That's Jordan. Number five, which German sports car manufacturer created the Carrera model? That's Porsche or Porsche. Number six, the sea of tranquility is on the moon. Number seven, the 1990s interior design show presented by Smiley Smiley Carol Smiley was changing rooms. It wasn't too bad. And number eight, what is another name for ascorbic acid? You might more know that as vitamin C. Round two was sport. Try to vary the different types of sports um, that we had. So um, you should be able to make some educated guesses on those anyway, at least. <clears throat> so in which sport do women compete for the Solheim Cup? That's golf. Number two, the outermost ring in an archery target. That is white. Um, I don't know the order of the other ones, but you've got blue, red, black and yellow as well. Um, the Rumble in the Jungle boxing match took place in 1974. Number four, the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions are professional teams in American football. The name given or the term given to a score of three under par in golf is an albatross. Stephen Hendry won the World Snooker Championship seven times. So we know Wimbledon is all about tennis, but it's also all about croquet. Well done if you put that. And number eight, who were the first club in English football history to be awarded a goal by VAR? It was Leicester City. I was actually there for it. It was Kelechi Iheanacho scoring against Fleetwood Town, I believe, in the FA Cup. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, it was at the King Power Stadium. And then um, round three was movies. So the f um, so I will show, I'll get these back up to show you. Okay, so I'll reshare the screen. So number one is Bend It Like Beckham. Number two is a film called Splash. Well done if you got that. Number three, Chicken Run. Number four is Heath Ledger in Brokeback Mountain. Number five is Pearl Harbor. Number six is Around the World in 80 Days. Number seven is the classic comedy, um, The Full Monty. I forgot then, <laughs> The Full Monty. And number eight is E.T. OK. So usually there'd be an interval here. 
So you can uh, pause me if you want to, go get yourselves a drink, refresh yourselves. Um, but also remember there are lots of different quizzes that you can try on the Quiz Wizard channel. So um, the Monday night quiz is very similar, well, exactly the same format to this. And there's something for the weekend quiz, which has taken a bit of a back seat whilst um, we're, we're presenting back again on a Thursday. That is a short three round quiz of eight questions released on a Friday for the weekend. Okay, so I am gonna I'm gonna move on. Just pause me if you need longer and then you can carry on with the quiz. So let's crack on with round four. We haven't had one for a while. It is a history round. Okay, so um yeah, sometimes I have to test you on different rounds. And history is the one today. So you'll be pleased to know, actually, that um, I'm, I'm getting better internet connection soon. So getting um, corporate internet speed up, which means that the music rounds that haven't been working, I'll be able to do properly, fingers crossed. So history, question one. Name the American naval base that the Japanese Navy attacked on Sunday morning, December the 7th, 1941. So that was named the American naval base that the Japanese Navy attacked on Sunday morning, December the 7th, 1941. Question two, founded in 1636, what is America's oldest university? I think I've used this question on a mini quiz. So if you've tried that, you might know. Founded in 1636, what is America's oldest university? There's a few contenders though, aren't there? Number three, in which decade was Martin Luther King's I have a dream speech? There you go, I'm being kind. You don't even need the year, you just need the decade. In which decade was Martin Luther King's I have a dream speech? Number four, what landed on the moon on July the 21st, 1969? What landed on the moon on July the 21st, 1969? Question five. This one you do need the year. In what year did Tony Blair become Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? No options. In what year did Tony Blair become Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Education, education, education. Number six. Who was nicknamed the Maid of Orleans? Who was nicknamed the Maid of Orleans? Number seven, which explorer completed four voyages between Spain and the Americas? between 1492 and 1503. So that's number seven, which explorer completed four voyages between Spain and the Americas between 1492 and 1503. And number eight, last one in the history round. 
very long. The 7th Armoured Division of the British Army was given what nickname after successful campaigns in Libya and Egypt during World War II? Whew, that one's uh, hard to say when you're a bit out of breath. The 7th Armoured Division of the British Army was given what nickname after successful campaigns in Libya and Egypt during World War II? In the words of Craig David, can I get a rewind? But this is a recap. Number one, name the American naval base that the Japanese Navy attacked on Sunday morning, December the 7th, 1941. Number two, founded in 1636, what is America's oldest university? Number three, in which decade was Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech? Number four, what landed on the moon on July the 21st, 1969? Number five, in what year did Tony Blair become Prime Minister of the UK? Number six, who was nicknamed the Maid of Orleans? Number seven, which explorer completed four voyages between Spain and the Americas between 1492 and 1503? And number eight, brace himself, the 7th Armoured Division of the British Army was given what nickname after successful campaigns in Libya and Egypt during World War II? Okay, so the fifth round is connections. So what you need to do, it's a bit like a general knowledge round. There are <clears throat> eight questions and all the answers are linked or connected in some way. And you can get yourself a bonus point, question nine if you will, if you can tell me what the connection is. Um, it might, if you get the link, the connection, it might help you go back and fill in some of the gaps. The questions do get progressively trickier as well, as the link might become more apparent. So here we go. Question one. What type of animal was Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh? So what type of animal was Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh? Question two. Which UK pharmacy chain was established in Nottingham in 1849? Which UK pharmacy chain was established in Nottingham in 1849? If any of my uh, hockey team or club are taking part, they should know this one. And know that I really enjoy playing there. Question three. Who plays Hermione Granger or Granger? <laughs> <laughs> Who plays Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films? Woody's at it again. You can always put some music on, dra drain him out. Who plays Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films? Number four. What is Mark Labbott's nickname on the ITV quiz show? The Chase. What is Mark Labbott's nickname on the ITV quiz show, The Chase? Not, not of my knowledge have I had anyone do one of my quizzes who's been on The Chase, but I have had people do my quizzes who have been on Eggheads. The commitments, hope you're enjoying the quiz tonight. They didn't win. Question five. Which battle took place 19 days after the Battle of Stamford Bridge? Which battle took place 19 days after the Battle of Stamford Bridge? Apologies, another history based question. Number six, 
which river is the ninth longest in the UK and the third longest in Scotland? If you think you know what the link is or starting to think it might help you, but which river is the ninth longest in the UK and the third longest in Scotland? Kenny Barkley, I expect you to get this one right. I think these next two are quite tricky. Number seven, what is the first book of the Millennium Series trilogy by Stieg Larsson? What is the first book of the Millennium Series trilogy by Stieg Larsson? And then question eight. Having the same initial for his first name and surname, who was the 30th president of the USA? So he's got the same initial for his first name and surname. Who was the 30th president of the USA? My friends from across the pond. There's been a few American based questions tonight. Come on. And then obviously for that bonus point, <clears throat> what is the connection to the answers of questions one to eight? I'll go through the questions once more. If you think you have an idea of what the connection is, it might help you out. Let's have a look. So number one, what type of animal was Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh? Number two, which UK pharmacy chain was established in Nottingham in 1849? Number three, who plays Hermione Granger, not Granger, in the Harry Potter films? Number four, what is Mark Labbitt's nickname on the ITV quiz show, The Chase? Number five, which battle took place 19 days after the Battle of Stamford Bridge? Number six, which river is the ninth longest in the UK and the third longest in Scotland? Number seven, what is the first book of the Millennium Series trilogy by Stieg Larsson? And number eight, having the same initial for his first name and surname, who was the 30th president of the USA? Bonus point, what is the connection? I'm hoping there's some jokes now, Paul. Our final round is our second pitch round of the evening. <clears throat> pop groups. You're gonna get eight pictures of um, famous pop groups. Just tell me their name. OK, I'll give you a couple of minutes to answer those. So here we go. Pop group one. Number two. Three. Four. Here's pop group five. Six. Seven. And eight. You might have got those straight off the bat. Quite a few number ones between these guys. So simply tell me the name of the famous pop group. At the end of this round, I'll go through the answers to rounds four, five and six. Um, then I'll give you a chance to tally up your, your totals. Please do, on the, on the YouTube, um, on the actual video, there's a comment section, comment on that. Tell me how many you scored. Um, and I will reply. Also, if you're new, let me know where you're playing from. Where are you taking part from tonight? I'll upload a mini quiz later on this week and uh, we'll still be in lockdown next Thursday. So um, hopefully I'll be back doing the quiz live to you then on Zoom and YouTube. Some classic hits from some of these bands.
OK, just give you another 30 seconds or so. I guess doing a pre-recorded quiz means I'll be ready for, uh, I'll be able to watch I'm a Celebrity. OK, so I'm going to stop the share now. Ah, hello again. OK, so time to go through some answers to rounds four, five and six. So round four was history. Name the American naval base that the Japanese Navy attacked on Sunday morning, December 7th, 1941. That was Pearl Harbor. So, um, yeah, two answers with Pearl Harbor tonight. Number two, founded in 1636, America's oldest university is a few contenders, but the answer is Harvard. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech was in the 1960s. Number four, what landed on the moon on July the 21st, 1969? That was Apollo 11. And number five, Tony Blair became the Prime Minister of the UK in 1997. Number six, the Maid of Orleans was Joan of Arc. And number seven, which explorer completed four voyages between Spain and the Americas between 1492 and 1503? A few explorers, but it was Christopher Columbus. And number eight, the seventh armoured division of the British Army was given what nickname? after successful campaigns in Libya and Egypt during World War II. Desert rats. Well done if you've got that. Round five was connections. So number one, what type of animal was Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh? The donkey. Number two, which pharmacy chain was established in Nottingham, 1849? Boots. Number three, Hermione Granger was played by Emma Watson. Number four, what is Mark Labbott's nickname on the ITV quiz show, The Chase? He's called The Beast. The battle that took place 19 days after the Battle of Stamford Bridge was the Battle of Hastings. The ninth longest river in the UK, and it happens to be the third longest in Scotland, is the River Clyde. The first book of the Millennium Series trilogy by Stig Larsson is Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. And number eight, Looking for the 30th president of the USA, who has uh, the same initial for his first name and surname. It's Calvin Coolidge. Well done, if you got that. And the connection between the answers above, um, you can put famous sidekicks or famous double acts. Okay, so they are part of, they are a famous sidekick or part of a famous double act. Donkey, Boots, Watson, Beast, Hastings, Clyde. Dragon, uh, and I'm not sure about that one. Calvin Coolidge, not sure. Someone will tell me in the comments. <laughs> okay, and then we have pop groups. So number one is ZZ Top. Number two is um, the Bee Gees, or phonetically, the Buggers. Number three is um, Nicole Schlersinger in The Pussycat Dolls. Number four, classic, Aqua, Barbie Girl, Aqua. Number five um, is um, Blue. They got, the, they got the city on lockdown. Number six, uh, Pulp. Playing songs like Common People and uh, Year 2000. Number seven, that's Justin Hawkins there. The band is um, The Darkness. I believe I've been good love. That one, yep. Yeah. And number eight uh, are blur. You are Oasis or blur. Which were you? So, as I said, they are your answers to all of the questions now. It's time for you to count up your final scores um, and let me know what you got. Either do it on the um, video itself by clicking comment or you can let me know in the Facebook group or you can let me know via Twitter. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, you can do um, by clicking the link in the banner and you can also um, subscribe to the channel as well. Remember, co comment, like and subscribe. 
So everyone, that is the end of the quiz, uh, the lockdown quiz 2.0 today. Um, as I said, I know it was delivered to you pre-recorded. Hopefully next Thursday, I will be back with a live um, function to be able to take part with you on Zoom and YouTube. Um, everybody, um, stay safe, take care of each other, and um, I will look forward to quizzing with you again soon. See you later.